welcome all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. My name is Maria Kondzielska Kaopar, and we are talking about cultural differences between Poland and Thailand, because with us on Skype is Tanchana Imsompun Rolewska, a Thai artist living and performing here in Poland. Tan, once again, thank you very much for calling us. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> And just the fact that you live here, you perform here, you studied here, and also you uh, live with an artist, with your husband here in Poland, it's already incredible. Uh, could you please tell us uh, how the Thai minority in Poland looks like and what, how many people, Thai people live here? And I know the fact that you also teach uh, Polish to Thai people. Are they good students and do they want to learn Polish? Or is it really difficult for them to, you know, grab it, the cultural difference and the language. Okay, uh, start from the, the, the Thai people in Poland. Yeah, most of them are uh, wives of the Polish the men. And some are students, some are the owner of the Thai restaurant and Thai massage salon. So there are also two businesses which uh, come to Poland, those Thai food and Thai massage, <laughs> both yeah. great. If we had both those experience, I I had both experience and I absolutely say both are amazing, both the massage and the food. Thank you. <laughs> so those two things. So and you teach them Polish, yes? Mm -hmm. I'm a, also a Polish teacher for Thai people. And sometimes I'm a Thai language teacher for Polish also. Oh, that's cool. So there are, but, but there's also a difference in the alphabet. Uh, could you tell us a few words about the, the Thai alphabet? Is it alphabet or are those characters? Uh, I think, I, I, mean, I don't know, in Thai we call alphabet, but I mean... But, uh, okay, so there, there are like letters, uh, the 24, yeah. 25, okay. Cause well, we have 24 uh, alphabets with 21 foils. I get it. Okay, five so intonations. Five intonations. That's the difficulty. Yeah. The tones are the most difficult. Mm -hmm. So this is this challenge for for. So are can can a Polish person learn Thai language, like and how quick? I I taught uh, a boy. He's a son of the Polish uh, girl and Thai Thailand. Okay, so, so he had yeah. some advantage. <laughs> yeah, they they have they use uh, Thai every day at home, so yeah. Oh, he could learn, but uh, <laughs> do, do you have pe do, do you know people who are originally Polish and they still masterize Thai? Yes, yes, I have one also a student, and he already now live in Thailand. It's like he studied with me as a you know pre preparatory course, <laughs> and then he moved to Thailand. So, so he made it happen to work it out, uh, but still then he had to practice in Thailand. But good thing that people, people so th there is this connection, but probably it's difficult just starting with a different alphabet. How was it for you, the alphabet? Uh, you knew it before because of English or you needed to, to learn more? You, you mean the Polish, yes? Yes. Uh... Actually, I met a Polish uh, cellist in Thailand, uh, Martin Chavelski, and uh, I learned some some phrases uh, and some alphabet uh, from him in Thailand. And then before, uh, and I moved to to Warsaw for my bachelor degree study. And then you, so you had already like some sort of idea how it looks like and learned. Well, wonderful. Yes. The, yeah, after seven years, so I think I, I managed to, to have, yeah, I don't know, maybe B2, C1 Polish. So, yeah, I, I think I can share this the knowledge with my Thai friends in Poland. Oh, well, wonderful and huge congratulations to you that you managed to learn because I know <laughs> Polish is one of the most difficult languages in the world. So it's really a challenge, and there are uh, so after Chi Chinese, one of the dialects of Chinese, then there is Polish. Uh, <laughs> so it's a challenge, of course. So uh, congrats to you, and uh, but you being an artist, we talked about the differences. But right now, we invite you, the viewers of Poland Daily, 
for a small concert and to just to listen Tanchino how she plays music because that's her main vocation. That's why she is in Poland to perform and play music. So just listen to her play. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.